evening on the Hank Stoltz Experience, we're going to tell you about a unique store here in the city of Worcester, and it's one that you're going to want to check out. Also, World Smile Day is really just around the corner. It's just a, it's just a couple of weeks away, so we've got to make sure that we're going to go out and we're going to smile somebody, and we'll tell you how that you can uh, do that. And also, we've got another great way, another great way to smile, and that starts our program off with the Post Road Chorus. And thank you so much for being here. Andrea, great to have you here. Mary thank Ellen. you. You as well. Andrea, tell me a little bit about the Post Road Chorus. Well, the Post Road Chorus is for women, sorry men, and um, it's an organization. We're part of the Sweet Adelines International, mm -hmm. which is an international organization for singing in the barbershop style and music education. And when you think about the barbershop quartets, I guess you do sort of think of, of men mostly. Uh, that's the way it's often portrayed in the, in the movies, like Music Man. Yes. Well, thank you for having us. Uh, that, that is uh, what you hear uh, right off the top of your hat, but uh, women do it, uh, we're just as large. Better. Oh, better. Yes, <laughs> I am glad you said that. Um, but, uh, and we do sing a cappella, which means there isn't a piano, and our instruments uh, are our voices. And uh, we make those chords ring at least as well. I said <laughs> now, now, how long you've been a, a member for? Almost ten years. Yes, almost ten years. Mary Ellen, tell me, taking back ten years ago, was it intimidating to, to go the, the, the first time? I mean, were you a little nervous? Did you think about it a while before you decided to go? Well, I had sung like many people in um, different choirs and choruses, the traditional ones, and I loved that. But I wanted to do something that was um, a little different, a little offbeat. And their music is, uh, is Americana. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of the few original American art forms. And so it, it's just fun music. It's a lot of fun. But it's not so easy to do. No, I uh, and, and once you get used to it, uh, it's a wonderful sound. So our, our stories and our songs are, are usually pretty happy ones. <laughs> a lot of fun. And, and also, a wonderful challenge. Um, you know, it sounds simple, um, but it is uh, something anyone can learn, yeah. um, and it's just uh, fun. So it's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But but Andrea, the Great American Songbook. So it's all songs that people are familiar with, which is a blast to be able to sing. But as Mary Ellen was just saying, probably a little difficult at first because when you're standing so close to somebody, you you want to probably sing what they're singing. Or singing it right as opposed to singing your part. That's right. And the harmony is very close harmony. And I had, like Mary Ellen, mostly I had done theater, not choruses, but um, I had sung. And I found the harmony, it was a little intimidating to begin with. Just because when you don't sing the melody or, you know, in SATB, which is soprano, alto, tenor, bass, you know, like most mixed choirs, um, there, there's the two women parts and the two men parts, but this is all for women and the chords are very close and some of the parts can be very difficult and they sound interesting all by themselves. I did have people yeah. laughing once singing Happy Birthday in Baritone. <laughs> now, you have a great event that is coming up on Tuesday night where people who want to come and get a flavor for what you do and perhaps join are going to be able to check that out. Andrea, tell us a little bit about this event. It's called Wine, Women, and Song. And what it is is that we're inviting women from the community to come in and give it a try. We are going to teach a little bit of music, so it doesn't matter that you don't know our songs, and you will be right up there on the risers with us, and learning how to sing in the barbershop style. And there will be wine, and uh, maybe afterwards, though, because you can't hold a party after you've had too much wine. Do you find that people are a little more willing to give it a try after the wine portion when they get up there? Well, we do, uh, and actually that brings up a point. We like to have fun, and that evening, everyone who joins us, if they choose, may have a glass of wine, and we will have uh, some goodies and some punch, too, if you don't want a glass of wine. But, uh, but the other thing about uh, trying it is it can be a little tricky, but, you know, we work hard to teach one another, and um, it's a very supportive group, you know. Um, all you have to do is be able to sing a little, and, and yeah. that does not mean read music, but, um, and uh, although some of the women read it very well and yeah. play instruments, but the singing is like uh, we'll sing 
happy birthday to you. And then you have to be able to sing that. Happy birthday to you. That, that's holding a tune, yeah. and you have to be able to do that. And we'll let you know, and most people <laughs> if you can do that it. very well. <laughs> that's what I mean. You would have let me down easy if, well, I, 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 if I had come. <laughs> you don't pass the physical. <laughs> no, no, right, right, yeah. that, that, that part of it. <laughs> yeah. But there's, there's clearly, uh, Mary Ellen, for example, there's clearly a social aspect to this. It's, oh. a, it's a great time for everybody to be able to come and get together. Well, that evening, um, it's a little more fun than usual, yeah. but it's always fun. and. Um, we enjoy one another yeah, yes, and, you know, helping one another along in our art form yeah. and making a beautiful sound. Now, Andrea, I mean, so, so there's, there's clearly the whole group of the post road chorus that comes together, but there's also then, does it break down into the groups of, of four? You each have your individual barbershop group. Well, I sing in my own quartet, mm -hmm. and not everybody in my quartet is from my chorus. Some of them are from other choruses, because remember, we're part of a large organization. Right. Yeah. Um, my quartet happens to do comedy which is not that common, Yeah. but we sing parodies of songs. Um, oh. but, and there's a smaller group, too, that we sometimes call the Post Notes, that is able to do the yeah. afternoon performances. You know, yeah, so like if, if somebody wants a luncheon group, they're the ones that aren't working that can um, yeah. perform well, there. We only have about 30 seconds left. We want everybody, of course, to come on out Tuesday night. It's going to be a lot of fun. At Briarwood yes. in Worcester, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm dying to know now. I mean, so what is like, what was like one of the parody tunes? This is not like Weird Al Yankovic. I mean, this is. Um, we do a well. We do a well. It, it uh, Weird Al. You mean my quartet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, well, there's a, a well-known um, song called "The Moment I Saw Your Eyes," and we sing "The Moment I Saw His Thighs." <laughs> This is going to be fun. Hey, thank you both so much for coming by and telling us about the well, post Thank, thank for you for us. having us, and we hope women will join us in yes. Wine, Women, and Song. Wine, Women, and Song. You can't beat that. Hey, coming up, we're going to tell you about World Smile Day right here on The Experience. Oh, my darling, not three times on the ceiling.